Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Marty McFly and I'm coming to you guys with another video for today. So for today guys, uh, first of all I gotta say excuse the messy hair. I just got out of bed uh, recently, so yeah. Uh, so today guys, I'm gonna give you guys a very early look of some Jordans that are, I think to me are gonna be uh, highly anticipated um, for OG heads like myself. Um, I believe these are like two or three months early. I believe they either come out on August or September. Um, but let's just get right into it guys and bam let me guys show you the box as you guys can tell by the box it is a air jordan 6 or it could be a 5 i guess because it does have a 5 box but this is a jordan 6 uh by the way it is on a pair of air jordan 6 that again it is to me in my opinion highly anticipated by older sneaker heads um <clears throat> one thing i want to show you guys before i go to the shoes i think you guys can see it right there by the reflection this shoe does come with a design on the box um and it is fireworks i don't think you guys caught it on the video maybe you guys did but if you guys did um just to describe the, the 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 texture or the the like the the print i guess you can see it here it's definitely a july 4 effect and if you guys know that date you guys should already know what type of shoe this is already um but let's just get into the the label real quick i'm gonna read to you guys the color it says here air jordan 6 white varsity red and that's all it says i don't know how it didn't say navy blue um, but yeah, oh and uh, before we get into shoes It does come with this uh, see-through paper again. It does have the same design of the fireworks um, and it does come with um, a White paper under and so bam guys it is on the Air Jordan 6 Olympics aka the Jesus Shuttlesworth shoes bam Here you guys go I'm um, sorry guys if the white is a little bright it is pretty bright out here um so it is on the jordan 6 olympics um and if you guys know the history behind this shoe jordan did not wear these these actually came out in the year 2000 and the first person to wear these uh, wear these was actually ray allen aka mr jesus shuttlesworth um and as you guys can see they brought him back to og form and I'm so happy about that, guys. Uh, just to let you guys know, I actually did used to have these when they first came out as a retro in 2012. Obviously, I didn't uh, have the OGs because if I did, I probably would have been said that. But yeah, so I've never had the actual OG pair, but I did have the retros. And I'm going to be real honest with you guys. So far from what I've seen right now as I've took, taken these out the box, the one biggest difference you guys can notice off rip, other than the laces and then the, the actual OG color blocking, is the leather so i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to catch this but the leather is actually pretty soft i don't think this is like the best leather ever but i am gonna say that this le leather is definitely better and softer than the ones from 2012 because those did have a very synthetic heavy um and just it just was not a good leather it was tumbled obviously but to me i don't think it was a good leather um sorry guys there's like a lot of mosquitoes here in miami it's been raining like crazy um, and then here he goes, the, the back, boom. See, I can see. And, and like I said before, it does come now back with the OG oval laces, which to me, actually, on these shoes is something that I am so glad they came back with because the 2012 pair did come with flat laces, which I wasn't a big, uh, like, I wasn't upset about it, but I wasn't a big fan of it either because I know those were not the OG style way of doing it. Um, and as you guys can see, it does have now the OG blocking, which for you guys that know in 2012, this white part right here was actually navy blue like this and then uh the the navy blue was actually white so they just flipped it back to where it should be which should have been all along which is the og style and like i already showed you guys the bottoms it does come with a clear blue outsole um which i'm not gonna lie on this pair i wish they kind of would have just gone with a clear icy sole but that's okay because it does still go well with the shoe and like i said guys this shoe does have a really nice soft uh to the touch leather I don't think you're gonna be able to tell, but the white leather is actually pretty nice too. Um, so let me just get the other shoe out. And just to let you guys know, these don't come with extra laces. They are just the oval white laces. They don't have any navy blue laces, any flat laces. It just comes with just your natural leather, um, I mean white uh, oval laces, which by the way, I think I could show it better um, this way. Yep. Yeah. And then of course the red lace lock. I'm so happy how these turned out. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Oh, and just to let you guys know, it does come with a paper insert like every Jordan has been coming out with. 
Um, let me just show you guys the inside. Boom, the inside has a white Jumpman with a sticker on it. Um, but yeah. So you guys, um, I'm so happy to have these so early. Um, um, shout out to the reseller that, you know, got me these early, that got me right. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't think I'm gonna get a double up. Usually with OG pairs, I try to double up. Um, but this is not necessarily a pair that I've been like the hugest fan of. The pair that I wanna see coming back, to be real with you guys, is gonna be the September Blues, but with the Nike on the back. I think that's a pair that needs to be done right. I'm not saying that's my favorite uh, uh, cutaway, but I just that's a pair of sixes that I want to see again. Um, but yeah, I love these. These to me are like right behind the Carmines. To me, my favorite Jordan 6 of all time is the black infrareds, then goes the Carmines, then goes these. So these are behind the Carmines for me, but I still love these. Um, of course, they don't have Nike Air on the back, so the idiots that don't know about Jordans, these never came with Nike Air, so don't say, oh, I don't like they don't have a Nike Air. You're a fraud. You don't know about Jays. They never came with Nike Air, so shut up. <laughs> no, but um, but yeah, in all seriousness, guys, um, yeah, these are definitely a go. As you guys can see, they they definitely do have like a little like a little soft to the touch. You guys can see. Again, guys, you guys will be happy for happy with these. For those that are um, wondering if these are gonna be good to go, I'm gonna give these the stamp of approval. Clank, clank. No, I'm just kidding. Shout out to Mike Rich. That's his thing, not my thing. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, are you copying these on uh, October? I'm going to fly October. On August or September, wherever, whenever these come out. Are these a double up for you guys? Let me know. For these, I'm just keeping these and that's it. I don't need a double up. I'm so happy to have them early so I can rock them early and then show them off. But yeah, that being said, guys, thank you for watching this video. This is my morning. Have a good one. Peace.